605 right now we're learning more about a deadly shooting involving police on Indy's northeast side. This morning, Indiana State Police are releasing more information about the suspect who was shot and killed there. Our Matthew Fultz joins us live this morning with the latest that he's learned overnight. Matthew. And Maria and Jalea, we're now learning that the man shot and killed was 42 year old Darman Graves Jr. We're also learning that police say he was wanted for a parole violation related to an, a, an, a serious violent felony. Now, police say the shooting happened just before 5 p.m. near 40th and Keystone. Troopers tell us Graves was the target of an investigation by the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force. Police say they made a traffic stop on the car he was in before setting up a tactical perimeter once they stopped that car. Troopers say a woman who was driving the car got out of the car before Graves while he stayed inside. Now, according to state police, Graves got out of the car with a handgun and early information from police shows that Graves shot first at police before two IMPD officers and one state trooper fired back. No officer leaves their house ever wanting to take another human human life. They are going to be they're going to live with this the rest of their life. The community is going to live with this. And so we're not lost on any of that. However, uh, individuals make decisions and uh, some make bad decisions. Now, state police say they did recover a handgun at the scene. And right now, those officers who fired their weapons are placed on administrative leave, which is standard protocol during an investigation. Meanwhile, we're told no one else was injured in this incident. And right now, state police are taking over this investigation. Of course, we're still working to learn more information on exactly what all happened in this incident. Of course, this is something we'll continue to follow and keep you posted when we learn more.